Joseph Conrad divided Heart of Darkness into three parts. This video series breaks down those parts by location and plot points for close summary and analysis. Heart of Darkness is set in 1891, the height of European colonization of the African continent. The novella opens at sunset on the Nelly, a cruising ship anchored at the mouth of the River Thames, waiting for the tide to change so it can head out to sea. Five friends are on deck, the director of companies, who's captain and host, the lawyer, the accountant, Charlie Marlowe, an adventurer and sailor, and the unnamed narrator, whose account opens and closes the novella, thus framing Marlowe's tale. Dusk prompts the narrator to think of past conquests, of England's great knights errant of the sea, who launched their journeys from the Thames. Marlowe interjects, and England also has been one of the dark places of the earth. And he imagines how savage and uncivilized England must have seemed when the Romans first arrived 1900 years ago. Mind, he says, what saves us is efficiency. They were no colonists, they were conquerors. It was just robbery with violence, aggravated murder on a great scale. What redeems it is the idea only. Marlowe then reminds them of the time he was a freshwater sailor on a different river and his friends settle in to hear a yarn about one of Marlowe's inconclusive experiences. After years at sea, Marlowe was looking for a new boat, and he remembered how he hankered as a kid after the biggest, most blank space on the map. Much of that blank space had since been filled in. It has become a place of darkness, but there was on it one river especially resembling an immense snake uncoiled. Marlowe then recounts his resolve to seek employment with the trading company doing business on that river. The rapacious violence of empire and the idea of efficiency, in other words, profit, that redeems it is perhaps the central moral conflict of Marlowe's account of traveling on the Congo. Colonialism goes hand in hand with racism and the novella will complicate what's symbolized by light and dark. By saying light came out of England, but darkness was here yesterday, Marlowe suggests that the darkness is not so distant and that enlightenment may not last.